I apologize ahead of time. My uh, memory card is corrupted on my camera, so my face recording that I thought I was recording wasn't. So, um, just enjoy the video. It's still the same, just without my ugly face in it. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Crab Lord back again. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the reverse vocal effect, and it's very simple. It's kind of like my last video, but really not. I also just found this out recently. I never knew how to do it. Anyway, before we get in the video, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and the notification bell as well, so you never miss a video that I post. Also, make sure to check out my description. I just dropped some new preset packs down below. Got my music, got my equipment, and on my social media. Don't miss out. Anyway, reverse vocal effect. I'm just going to record it, mess around with it, and try to make a decent verse or hook using reverse vocals. Let's get in the video. I'm using my Crab Lord template just because it's what I use to record on now. And then I also release it on the website, but I'm not promoting it. I'm just making this easier for myself. There's no reverse plugin to use, so it has nothing to do with it at all. Don't worry about it. If you want to know how to mix a little better, just check out any one of my other videos where I explain it more. But anyway, put two loops together. Here's the beat. So this is what confused me, so maybe y'all can relate to this. So to begin, you want to double click your vocal track. And what I never knew and what confused me is I thought you would click either function or edit to find reverse, but no. You gotta click file. Didn't know that. You wanna click functions and just hit reverse and that's it, right? And that's what it would sound like. It's probably gonna be weird. I'll put my effects on. Yeah. <laughs> So now I'm gonna use this as a sample, I guess. I don't think I even know how to do that. And we're gonna put it in the ambience part. Alright, so I brought it down to the ambience section, and this is what it sounds like behind the scenes. So now I want more fillers, but I don't want to keep repeating it, so I'm going to find a spot in here. Yeah, I'm so ugly. And we're going to bring it down just to here to separate it. And we're going to hit a little reverse action on it, like double click, function, reverse, boom. That's weird. Alright, so I picked up the part that I wanted to bring down. Now I gotta re-record it because I don't think you can... For some reason it's not letting me uh, reverse just one piece of it, but... Now we recorded that new part, and we're just gonna bring it down, like that. What's that sound like? Should have found a sweet spot there. Alright, we got the three little reverse there. And just to finish it up, I'm gonna cut this part and bring it down to the ambience part. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do every other one. I'm gonna cut this, ugly. Basically the point of this is to teach you how to do the reverse effect and all you gotta do is double click, go into file, Go to functions, then hit reverse. And like I kind of did, you can just cut it up and use them as like background vocals like I did there. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Sorry again for the face cam not working. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think and what I should do next. Also, remember to subscribe if you're already subscribed. Notification bell. Check out my description. So many links. So many good stuff. Thanks again for watching. This has been a Crab Lord. How to reverse your vocals and also use them to make your song better. And like always, we out.
I'm so ugly 